Jeez. Look at this. Didn't know Joe could even write. We got another job. Something really big. Stop by Freddy's tonight. Bring a piece and some lockpicks. Who's here? <laughs> Where the hell you been? Laying around in bed all day? Hey, I'm entitled to a little rest after that last job, don't you think? What can I get you, sir? Coffee. Just for now. But when Alberto hears about this, the shit is gonna hit the fan. Believe you me. So, uh, I heard you didn't score too big last night. Well, it wasn't exactly my fault. Shit happens. Alright, come on, relax, fellas. It's a high-risk business. If you don't like it, you can always go break your back working for peanuts down at the dock. Sorry, Henry, I was just breaking balls, you know. Uh, so how about tonight? We still on for what we talked about we'll yesterday? See in a minute. That is too fucking much, too fucking many! I want my money! What? You think I'm running some kind of fucking charity here? Do it. Now! Who was that? Somebody you don't need to know right now. All right, listen up. There's a guy who owes the boss some money. He borrowed it to open some big jewelry store. He's not paying it back fast enough. We're gonna collect his payment tonight. In jewels. Plus, uh, a little extra for our trouble. Joe, fill him in. The jewelry store's in the shopping mall in the middle of town. There's no guards at night. So all we gotta do is pick the lock and waltz right in. Sounds a little too simple. Because it is simple. Why's everything gotta be so fucking complicated yeah, with you? Says the guy who can barely change a light. Look, don't worry, I thought of everything. I got these phone company uniforms so we can pretend to be fixers something. Fair enough. Let's go. All right, we're gonna rob this fuck blind. All we gotta do is wait until dark. So how'd it go with the port? What, you mean with Derek? Yeah, he's a piece of work, ain't he? Give you a job? Yeah. I work some guys over. But it was small time crap. He shakes down these hard-up dock workers just like he did my old man. Well, you didn't have to do it. It's not like he forced you to work for him, is it? My mother almost did. We're whining and keep in touch with Derek, trust me. He's got better jobs than shaking down wolf rats.
damn it. Vito, open this door. What the hell is this? Come on, boys. The cops will be here any minute. Move it! Brian fucking O'Neill? What the fuck is this? You crazy bastard, what the fuck are you doing? Barbaro, what the hell are you doing here, you fuck? <laughs> You're a little late, Chief. There's nothing left here fuck for you. Fuck off, Fatso. This is our heist. You want to get out of here in one piece, you'd better hand yeah, over yeah, everything yeah. you've well, got. Well, the sign outside didn't say Brian O'Neill's place. If it did, I wouldn't have robbed it. Instead, I would have set it on fire. reported at the West Side Mall. Repeat, 1031. Burglary this in progress. This is car 54. We're on it. And I suggest you get lost before the cops show up. Ah, fuck! Kiss Let's my get ass. Get the fuck out of here. Ugh. Gotta get the fuck out of here! What the hell are you waiting for? Get him, lads! Brian, what about the cops? Come on! Cops. Let's get out of here! I'm trying! Shit! Cops! Wipe my ass while I open this door. Keep those assholes off my back! <clears throat> Almost got it! Pull him up, just a little long. Come on, you piece of shit, open up! Okay, got it. We're out of here. Vito, come on! Freeze! Police! There's no way out! Another dead end. We gotta go this way, it's our only shot. Come on, Vito, move your ass. What are you fucking crazy? It's covered in ice. One slip and we're dead. We have no choice. I ain't going to the joint. Get your ass over here! You waiting for a formal fucking invitation? Over there! Shoot! Shit! Jesus, be careful! Almost lost it. Yeah. 
I think I just shipped myself. Where'd they go? They must have gone this way, Sarge. Oh, fuck that. I don't get paid enough for this. This way. This should take us to the street. Shit! Cops! Freeze! Police! There's no way out! Come on! Henry's never gonna believe this. Stupid bastards. Let's go. Fuck off, copper! I didn't do nothing! <laughs> 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 Look at the Irish my ass! <sighs> Who the hell was that? Brian O'Neill. Crazy Mick bastard. Not too bright. Usually works his hired muscle. <sighs> yeah, I didn't think he was the brains of the operation. Shit, the cops! Come on, get out of the light! Let's go! Come on, come on, come on! Don't worry. Give me a bag. I'll go ditch the goods. All right, pal. Meet you back home. Try not to get pinched on the way there.
All units, code green. Back to the station. Hey there, handsome. Uh... Hi there. Joe ain't here right now. He said for you to meet him for lunch at Freddy's. I see. Too bad you had passed out when I came in. We could have party. Hmm. Maybe next time, doll. Bye. Huh. That was something. Isn't that Joe's girl over there? Well, one of them anyway. You smacked up my car, I'm gonna smack up yours. Look at my fucking car! Hey, pal. Knock it off. And who the fuck are you? Somebody who doesn't like hearing you talk to a lady like that. So why don't you shut the fuck up and leave while I'm still in a good mood, huh? What, is she your girlfriend or something? Well, if she's not gonna pay for it, you will. One more word. And you're gonna need a new set of teeth. Now get the fuck out of here. I... That was the word. Handsome, I owe you one. Do you want to come over to my place for a piece of pie? Yeah, thanks, but uh, look, I, I, I really gotta get going. Mmm, you'll shit. like it, I Stay. promise. I gotta get going now. I'll see you around. Hey, fellas. Hey. Hey, Vito, this is Luca Garino. He'd like to talk to you and Joe. Luca, this is Vito. Good to meet you, Mr. Garino. No need to be so formal. Call me Luca. Take a seat, Vito. What can I get you? Same thing I'm having. And hurry it up. I heard about you running with the mix. <laughs> Great fucking story. <laughs> and I want to congratulate you, too, on a job well done. Salute. A salute. You guys did a hell of a job. Not too many guys got the stomach for this line of work. So now, uh... I'm wondering if yous are ready to take the next step. Yeah, sure, uh... What next step? I'm talking about taking somebody out. Just cause someone points his finger at him and tells you to do it. I was in the war, Mr. Garino. All I did was kill people I was told to kill. People the president pointed his finger at. <laughs> <laughs> That's good. The president. Yeah, I like that. <laughs> but you're, uh, you're talking about the crowds, right? 
You know, the bad guys. That's not what I mean. Understand? Yeah, I understand. Good. We need guys like you. Guys who can follow orders without asking questions. You handle this next job like you handled the last one. And there's a good chance you'll be accepted into the family. After you pay the initiation fee, of course. And how much is that? Five grand a piece. That's a fucking fortune. Hey, nobody said it was cheap, huh? But trust me, the benefits far outweigh the cost. I'll leave it up to you two to decide. Henry's gonna fill you in on the rest. I'll see his guys there. There you are. Hey, you boss. You take care of that thing we talked about yet? Yeah, yeah, it's all under control. That's what you said the last time. Don't disappoint me again. Boss, I don't. I, I, uh... Now come with me. We got some other business to discuss. So, Henry, what kind of job we talking about here? I gotta take a guy out. It's my contract, but Thanks. I need some help. That's where you two come in. Who's the lucky guy? Some fat fuck from across the river. The guy's been warned, but he thinks he's untouchable. Huh. And is he? Well... Somebody tried to take him out once before. And? Let's just say they slightly underestimated him. How much is slightly? Fatally. That's a fancy way of saying they're dead, right? Hey, they fucked up. We won't. I rented an apartment across the street from his business. We'll sit there, and we'll wait till that fat fuck shows up, and then BOOM! We blast his ass. How are we gonna do that? With an MG-42. Uh... Where are we getting an MG-42 from? Harry. Yeah. He's a vet, like you. He's got a private little gun shop over in Kingston. You can get your anything from a pea shooter to a bazooka. And you don't need no fucking gun license, neither. Okay, Joe and me will go to the apartment. You go pick up the machine gun at the shop in Kingston. It's all paid for. Just tell them I sent you. After that, meet us at the apartment. It's in Sand Island. The building across from the distillery. Apartment 233. Okay, apartment 233. Got it. I'll meet you fellas there in a bit. All right, I'll see you later. Good luck, pal. I'll see you around.
Yeah, what's up? Uh, Henry Tomasino sent me to pick up the stuff he ordered. All right, come in. Hello? So, uh, you're the guy Henry was telling me about, huh? Yeah. You got his merchandise. <laughs> yeah, well, here it is. MG42, made in Germany. Hitler's buzzsaw, we call them. She's a beauty. 25 pounds. 7.92 caliber. 1,200 rounds per minute. Fastest in the world. 250 round belt, three quarters of a mile effective range, and extremely reliable. I don't know what the hell you're hunting, but unless it's in a fucking tank, sayonara, baby. Hey, you need me to show you how to use it? No, thanks. I'm familiar with him. I was in the service, too. No shit! Wait, wait are you kidding me? Where, where were you? What was it, Normandy, huh? No, no Africa? Oh, let me guess. Uh, Operation Husky. Yeah? What unit were you in? 504th Parachute. No shit, you were a paratrooper? That was kind of hairy, I heard. Yeah, well, it wasn't no picnic, I tell you. I got hit, so they sent me home. Yeah, any medals? Yeah, Purple Heart and a DSC. Whoa, wait, wait, you got a cross? Let me tell you, they don't give those babies out for nothing. I was in Normandy, we hit Utah Beach. Yeah, that wasn't no picnic, neither, but... I was crawling over the fence on the way back. I, I poked my eye out on a fucking tree branch. <laughs> well, hey, it was good enough for a discharge. Uh, look, guy, I really gotta get going. All right. Hey, by the way, I'm Harry. Hey, Vito. Hey, good to meet you, Vito. Real good. If you ever need some hardware, you know where to find me. Yeah. There you go. I hope you drove here. She's a big girl. <laughs> good luck. Hey, thanks. Nice to meet you, Harry. The gun's in the crate, and there's a couple thousand rounds in the van out in the yard. Take it. It's all paid for. Vito, I'll see you soon.
you from, Henry? Sicily. What brought you to the States? Mussolini. Yeah, we buy you a ticket. Don't be a smart ass, Joe. My father was a... Uh, a man of honor. And things got pretty bad for us after Mussolini came into power. My old man figured I'd either get drafted or locked up, so... He sent me to America and got me a job working for Pimenti. So what happened to your father? He said he was too old to make the trip. Mussolini had him arrested and he died in jail. They won't even turn his body over for a proper burial. <sighs> That's rough. So how's your English so good? They're coming. Those black cars. Vito, aim for the fat bastard. We gotta nail him before he gets in the building. Get ready. All right, I'm on it. They got All guns. All right, it's showtime. They got guns up there in that window. Tim Vito. First, Vito, you're the fucking war hero. Go, go, we'll cover you. We're coming for you, Rocky! I'm going in! Come out of your hole, you fucking rat! They teach you that? Oh, fuck! Watch out! What the hell are you doing, Joe? What? Thirsty. Pretty good stuff. You should try it. Drinking on the job, huh? When'd you turn Irish? He's upstairs! Don't kill me! 
Time to mend these senses regards. Oh! Fuck! <laughs> oh, fuck you! Oh, sorry, you. <clears throat> Henry, you okay? Hey. Where'd he hit you? Of course I'm not fucking okay. He shot me in the fucking leg. Oh, God. Oh, yeah, it's bleeding all Son over the place. Son of a... Get me to El Greco. The fucking painter? No, the fucking doctor, okay, okay, you idiot. Take it easy. We're gonna get you there in a minute. The Greek guy lives up in Highbrook. Right, let's get you to the... Oh, come on, Maron. You're heavier than you look. My fuck. He almost shot my balls off. Take it easy. He missed him by a mile. Hey, careful! This fucking hurts. Yeah, well, you can walk if you don't quit your moaning. Hey, you're right. I don't need to get pissy. No, please. I don't, don't want to die. Bleed the deck here. Let's go, Vito. Andiamo. What the fuck are you waiting for? saying that pal it's just a scratch the doc will give you a few stitches and then we'll all go out and celebrate no really shh you shouldn't talk right now helps conserve your strength i seen that in a movie once yeah and what happened to the guy in the movie he died nah. jesus you drive like my fucking grandmother I can, damn it. Well, it ain't fast enough. Just relax, would you? I got a hole in my leg the size of a fucking golf ball, and you're telling me to relax? Just get me to El Greco, damn it. Hey, Vito, step on it. Henry's sweating like a whore in church back here. You know what would make me drive faster? You, Stadezit. So, fellas, who is this guy? What guy? This guy we're taking Henry to. El Greco? He's a doctor. Throw him a couple of bucks, he patches you up. No questions asked. He's the guy you go see when you can't go to the hospital, genius. <laughs> Why the hell uh, wouldn't you be able to go to the hospital? Because you go to the hospital with a bullet in you, first thing they do is call the cops. Yeah. So El Greco deals with a lot of guys in our line of work. You shouldn't need to visit him, though, Vito. You've always been a quick healer. Must be your diet. Yeah. Just hang in there, pal. We'll be at El Greco's in a minute. I can smell the souvlaki from here.
Go there. That house. Park right in front. You all Greco the doctor? No. I'm the fucking painter. A friend needs help, or he's gonna bleed to death. Thanks, Doc. Good God, handle it. We owe you one. Get him inside. Hello, though. Wait. I got money for you. For the job. Take it. You know this could've waited. But thanks. And hey, thanks for everything. I hope you'll be okay. Yeah. Me too. I'll <sighs> stay here with him. Meet me at my place. <sighs> Alright. How you doing? No, 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 no. I just wanted to give you the money to pay off Papa's debt. Oh, Vito, that's great. I was gonna try and see if we could pay it back in installments. I got a little money. He wouldn't have hurt us. Don't be so sure, but it doesn't matter now. Here, take Where'd it. you get all this money, Vito? You haven't done nothing you'll be sorry for, have hey, you? don't worry. Everything's fine. Thank you, Vito. Thank no you. No problem. All right, look, I better be going. I, I don't want Ma to see me. She'll be asking where I got the money, too. Don't worry. I'll make something up. All right. Give her a big kiss for I me, will. okay? Take care of yourself, Vito.